Today on FinShoot, we're looking at an introduction to Foreign Exchange. To get to the Foreign Exchange page, hit F11 or type currency. If we type currency up in the top left hand box, this will start to bring up a menu for currency markets. Click on this. Currency markets is then broken down into a series of menus. Price discovery, analytics and idea generation, news and research, analyze, portfolio analysis, electronic trading, derivatives and FX settings. We also have a Euro Resource Center which is about the breakup of the Euro were that to occur. To begin looking at FX, the best place to start though is a general overview at the FX Information Portal. Clicking on this brings up a nice screen that covers off the major currencies initially, but then clicking on the left hand grey tabs splits into Asia, Europe, LATAM, the Mideast and finally the precious metal. As you'll note, each tab also opens up a matrix on the right hand side, broken into a general overview, currency forward, FX options and economics. Down the bottom you'll see a series of scrolling headlines that relate directly to the FX market. If I was to drill in a little bit more and perhaps I didn't want to just look at all G10, maybe I wanted to click on Australia. Clicking on the Australia tab brings me into the Australia section. Straight away I can see if I click on FX market overview, Australian cross rates current rate, some central bank settings, where credit ratings are for sovereign and some news. I can click on research to see any additional research that I'm subscribed to and I may or may not be subscribed to many. FX forwards tab will give me FX forwards for my currency options and volatility for the Aussie only and economics. A nice breakup page that takes me to a series of very nice bar charts, analysis, where the central bank is currently and an economic calendar. This covers off a basic introduction on Bloomberg.